Hey guys, and welcome back to BMW Fanatic. Now, upgrading your charge pipe and your stock diverter valve system is definitely crucial, especially if you want to tune your N54 powered car. The stock charge pipe can break under stock boost. The stock diverter valves will start leaking if you have a tune on. It is critical to get that whole system upgraded so that way you can target the boost that you need to target. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the full DIY on the Forge Motorsport single valve blow off valve kit that you can get for the N54. Now, I've had my Forge Motorsport diverter valves for about four years now with the CPE charge pipe. I've had nothing but great ownership as far as that setup goes. I have the 15 to 23 PSI internal springs, bent to atmosphere. I wanted to have an actual blow off valve kit uh, run on my car and also I just wanted to upgrade it. Like I said, I've had it for so long. The internal spring has been already upgraded so it can handle my 17 to 20 PSI boost that I have. So it's not just the charge pipe and the blow valve that come in the kit. So I'm gonna take you through the box as far as everything that they include in the kit because it's something that you definitely wanna see. Now also in this video, I'm gonna be doing a full sound clip of my car driving and you know taking it inside the car and trying to do other a few different other shots so stay tuned for the end of the video for that so let's go ahead and get this started because i'm anxious to hear what it sounds like so when your box arrives it's gonna look just like this now this is perfection look at that Nice and neat packaging from Forge. I always love about Forge. Uh, just, they have great high quality, attention to detail. Some just side things. You get a bottle opener, a little Forge keychain. You have your sticker. Your silicone hose. This goes to the upper part of the intercooler. So you got that. Your silicone hose that will attach to a fitting that will then attach uh, to the car. All your hose clamps. So getting the charge pipe out with their single valve, blow off valve. Like look at this thing. where your T-map will go on. C-clip, of course, goes on the outside. And they do include, not a lot of people do this, but they do include a new O-ring for your throttle body. So that's cool. And then last but not least, within your box, you're gonna get a USB thumb drive. Now this contains the instruction manual on how to install uh, this charge pipe. So I have the Burger Motorsports DCI, which is not obviously the air box. Instruction manual, that's within this thumb drive, has the full install as far as if you have the stock air box, but that's really easy to take out. So I wanna fret that, but that's something nice that Forge offers for you. What I do is I just go ahead and print it out um, just so you can have it right by you. And of course this goes into doing the stock air box, but the stock air box is very simple to take out and the rest of your existing charge pipe setup uh, with the diverter valves. And of course, if you have any questions, you know, let me know but you can also contact Forge as well at their um, phone number and of course email address. But it's very simple installation instructions and you're set. First things first, we're gonna wanna take out the DCI right here. So just take a small flathead screwdriver. For the back. Pull the front one out to get the rear one. Pull that one out. Now one thing a lot of people forget to do sometimes is that you have your inlets open. There's one there and there's one there in the back. Just take some microfiber towels uh, that you know are clean. I don't have a bunch of debris on them. And just go ahead and stick them in the holes there. Front and back. This will just ensure you don't drop anything 
down in there that you don't want dropped in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and cut them and I'm also gonna cut up here. Cause I will be taking it off and redoing that one. Same thing goes on these. Just take a knife, slice through them. So the one to the intake manifolds right here, just by taking the knife, it just helps to get those stuck on hoses off. So once it's actually good there, you're just gonna pull straight off. Careful not to break the tip that's on the intake manifold because you definitely need that. So here, right here, that's, that's what I mean as far as it just helps that much better to go ahead and get those off. to get the uh, diverter valves off of my charge pipe here. I'm just going to undo them right here at the top. So of course, flathead screwdriver. Same thing goes on this side. And then when that's ready, and pull, pull it out. This is my existing forge setup that I had, which is Venta Atmosphere. Pull the other one out, get that out of the way. Pull that one up, out of the way. Get the other one here. Next, we're gonna undo both clamps that are on the front part here. Just take your flathead screwdriver. You wanna release it up that high. All right, so this is called your C-clip. This seals your charge pipe onto your throttle body. There's grooves right here. Uh, once I pull this all the way out, you'll see the official grooves, but the, it sits down in there and locks it in place. With doing the USB on the back, you just get like that and then pull it and it comes right off. That way you can go ahead and get that out. So that's out. You can just remove your USB cord that you used. As you saw, I have to wiggle a little bit so to get it all the way off the throttle body. Now this is a very tight fit uh, all the way through. So you have to just kind of work it back and forth until you get all the way off uh, the front intercooler piping and of course, officially out of the way of the throttle body. All right, so we're gonna wiggle around a little bit. I can go ahead and take this off because I need it. So you'll need to transfer this to the new charge pipe. It's gonna sit just like so. Go up and then out. I'm gonna pull our silicone hoses off. like that so now we need to be able to transfer the t-map sensor this is what measures the temperature within your intake track or adjust the boost so this is your t-map uh, we just need to remove it and then transfer it back over
down in here. to tighten. Now we'll do a first startup.
go for a drive. We have the new Forge Motorsport single blow valve charge pipe kit. Let's roll. Alright guys, that does it for today. The full install on the Forge Motorsport single valve charge pipe blow-up valve kit uh, that I installed on my 2008 BMW 335i. So with the N54, of course you still have the diverter valves that you upgrade to later the single kit. But you know, coming from a Forge Motorsport kit that I already had, I had the diverter valves uh, for about four years. Love that kit. I'm happy that I upgraded. Uh, just to have something newer and to have that official, I guess to say, uh, blow-off valve uh, that they have. So install is very straightforward, just as you saw. Other than that, I'm definitely enjoying the kit. Well guys, if you want to see more about the Forge Motorsport single valve kit that I installed on my car here today, I'll drop the link in the description box below. Head on over to Forge, check out their stuff, check out the other stuff they have too. And all the tools that I used in this DIY video will also be down in the description box below. Appreciate the sport. Big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And look forward to the next DIY. You're coming next.